Antarctica is a really important region. Um, the, it, you know, the, the global ocean takes up about a quarter of the carbon dioxide emissions that um, have come from historical fossil fuel burning and, and land use change. And then of the uh, processes that are important in the ocean, about 40% of the CO2 that's taken up um, by the ocean occurs down in the Southern Ocean. So it's a, it's a really important place. So this, this project is all about uh, improving our understanding of uh, processes that we already know are very important. Down in Antarctica, the uh, processes that uh, result in carbon removal from the atmosphere and, and uh, from the surface ocean. The Piccolo project involves uh, a team of biologists, chemists, physicists, and uh, the, the, the project has been put together in a way that maximises our strengths in a collaborative uh, way. So we are very much looking to combine the observations that are made about biological processes with the, the understanding of the physics of the ocean. It involves multiple different uh, organisations and we're going to be sailing on the research ship, the, the David, Sir David Attenborough, down from Punta Arenas in southern Chile uh, down to the Weddell Sea. So we have people making observations of the uh, small animals uh, and uh, plankton in the surface waters and how they consume carbon, how they transform carbon from uh, inorganic forms of carbon dioxide into organic forms. We're looking at how so when those organisms die and they sink, uh, how much of that carbon makes it down into the deeper waters. We're making observations using uh, robots, gliders, to um, uh, measure the physical properties of the water because when that water gets cooler as it does in Antarctica and when it gets uh, saltier it um, sinks and that transports all the carbon with it. We're making observations of the exchange of gas between the ocean and the atmosphere and how much the ice gets in the way of that. We're looking at how the ice when it forms uh, it creates a cap so what's happening below the ice, it's a very different environment below the ice, the, the light is, is affected, but also the exchange with the atmosphere is, is affected. So um, a whole range of different chemistry, biology and physics to really try and get to grips with all of these different important carbon related processes. Uh, we are taking advantage of some really uh, uh, exciting technologies that enable us to uh, collect data uh, from the ship but also collect data um, using uh, robots that move through the uh, surface ocean and, 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 de and deeper, diving down to collect uh, information about the physical properties and biological properties of the uh, surface ocean. We are also taking advantage of technology uh, using um, uh, the animals that are down there, the, the seals that uh, live down there, um, where there's a process where we can attach sensors to uh, to the heads of these seals that they dive down to collect their food from the seabed and while they do that they collect data for us and then that data is returned via satellite uh, to be analysed. This doesn't hurt seals in any way and, and they shed those sensors um, at the end of the uh, season but it does enable us to collect data when we're not able to be there during the winter time. So I'm personally looking forward to, to three major uh, things from the Piccolo project. Uh, firstly, of course, is the um, experience and the opportunity to go somewhere very special uh, on planet Earth. The second thing is the opportunity to work with a, a, an experienced and uh, excellent collaborative team, both within uh, PML and also uh, the universities uh, that are working with us. And finally, I'm really looking forward to uh, collecting some novel and exciting data from uh, an important place down in Antarctica to better understand carbon processes uh, in the Southern Ocean.